Welcome to the best of Combate Americas. 60 minutes of the most exciting mixed martial arts action. Time for Mucha Mas Acción. Let's get the action started. Continuamos con mucha más acción dentro de la jaula de Combate Américas. Este duelo, tres vueltas a un peso pactado a 130 libras. We continue with much more action inside of la jaula. This bout, three rounds at a catch weight of 130 pounds. The judges, los jueces, Chris Crail, Agustín Oropesa y Marco Antonio Soto Pérez. En la esquina azul, vestido de verde in the blue corner, wearing green. His official weight, 129 and one quarter pounds. Su peso oficial, 129 libras y un cuarto. En su sexto combate a nivel profesional, con cuatro victorias y una derrota. Y en su jaula, for the sixth time as a pro, with four victories against one defeat. De Monterrey, Nuevo León, el Torito, David Macías Ruiz. Su contrario en la esquina roja. His opponent in the red corner. Vestido de rojo, wearing red. His official weight, 130 and three quarter pounds. Su peso oficial, 130 libras y tres cuartos. En su octavo combate dentro de la jaula. Con cinco victorias y dos derrotas. He enters la jaula for the eighth time as a pro. With five victories against two losses. Representando a Mexicali. Baja California, Mexico. El Pitbull. Edgar Chaire. El referee, Raúl Porrata. Al centro, al centro. Obedezcan mis comandos y protegen en todos momentos. Tocan guantes ahora, regresen a su esquina. All right, to the tail of the tape, Edgar Chai it is with the two-inch height advantage, two-inch via the reach. Again, this will be at a catch weight of 130, and Chai is coming just a nod under it. He's going to want to get his weight to 125. Let's Again, go. the flyweight Let's division go. is where all the action's going to be a lot in 2020. Raul Porata, the third man inside of the howlout. Look at that hair, JP. That is spectacular. Macias in the green, Chaira is in the red, holding the orthodox stance. But that was an unorthodox kick from Macias. Chaira is really well regarded. He's in the red trunks, but he's, last we saw him in Mexicali, September, he lost via unanimous decision to Alberto Trujillo. Back earlier in 2019, I should say at the end of 2018, he lost to the Mexican phenom Axel Asuna. He needs to prove that he is higher in the pecking order at 125. Starts here against Macias. Both fighters measuring the distance, trying to figure out where their stopping point is. Nice inside leg kick for Macias. A nice jab to take him backwards for Chaires. Edgar Chaires, as you touched on with regards to his nickname, not because of the pit bull mentality, but because he loves dogs. He owns a pit bull. And he fights like a pit bull. And he, be, he does. Can he be the top dog here? Although Macias at applying the early pressure. Couple quality lead kicks to that front leg. And Edgar Chaires shows him how it's done. Returns fire with a head kick that lands. Macias. Nice one, two, and a left hook. Nice stiff jab, pops his head back. No one's home. Little teep kick from Macias. Stalking him though, Edgar Chaires. Oh, oh. swinging back fist, just going over the head of Macias. But very precise from Chaires. Good combination, leading to the kick again from Macias. Macias goes, went straight to the body with that. That was nice. Pursuing Chaires. Macias combination punch. Round one of three, co-main event. Macias. 
Garcia's giving two inches of height. Good kick from Chaidez, catches the lead leg. Really? Can he double it up? No, it's Macias who responds. I thought that Chaidez was a taller party. Ooh. A lead leg And they clinch, and he's going to look for the takedown. Single leg, looking to kick that back leg oh. out, but goes over the top oh. with the elbow, and a nice head kick from Chaidez, and they're back into the center of the jaula. Power strikes from Chaidez. Macias unloads. Nicely done. Uppercuts, left hooks from Macias. Body shot and a big right hand, but it misses for Chaidez. Ooh, that was close. Southside leg kick from Chaidez. A nice jab again, pops Macias' head back. Macias. Very active, lots of output from Torito Macias. Ooh. Head kick. Beautiful head kick too, that was sneaky. I didn't see that one coming. Coached by Nino Marroquin. We know about the Marroquin family. Levy, a prominent featherweight. Ooh, nice left hook, get out of here. Good opening round here for Macias. Not giving Chaidez an inch. Edgar Chaidez, very reserved, very calculated. He's not getting wild or crazy. He's just feeling it out right now. Nice. Spinning back kick from Macias. Inside leg kick from Macias. Return fire from Edgar Chaidez. Ooh. That's it. Better from China. As oh. One kick leads to an X. Big knee just misses Macias. Has to get that hair out of his face. Shorten that two up, Chaidez. Oh, again with the jab from Edgar Chaidez. <laughs> nice. Combination. Stiff jab and a right uppercut. Nice head kick. Those are sneaky. One, two, and no one's home. Ten seconds to go in this opening out. Chires charges, oh, takes him down. Perfect timing from the Chicali. Side control to Major Tom. End of the first round. Hope you're enjoying Combate Americas on Access TV. We are off to a flyer. Max Bredos, Juliana Peña here. Our great Spanish language uh, broadcast team there in Mexicali. So, I did the math. We had the Copa Combate at 155 this year. Last year was 145. Previous year was 135. The law of averages says the next one will be at 125. I can't confirm that, but that's what's at stake. So everyone in that flyweight division has to anticipate there could be a Copa at year's end, including these two guys. What about a girl Copa? Well, I did, it's right. Why not? Why, Why not? not a 100 straw weight division Copa? So everyone should be on their toes. Everyone, because this year will define a lot of what Combate Americas does. I'd like to see either one. Yeah, but back to this fight. Edgar Pipo Chaires, David Dorito, Macias. These guys are slugging it. They're doing it. They're doing their thing. You having a good time? I'm having a great time. You know. Juliana Pena getting ready to fight March 28th at UFC in Columbus, Ohio. We are looking forward to, I hope to be able to make it. I can't confirm if I can, but hopefully we can go see you fight. And uh, during her training, still a true professional coming in here and calling fights for Combate Americas. Right. I'll be doing the February show too next week, but then after that, you guys aren't going to see me for the you're month gonna, of March. You're going to let's know, I know. I know the love fest going Listo. on on Twitter. Listo. A pelear. Juliana Pena, the greatest thing since sliced bread. Whatever. Let's look at this love fest right <laughs> here going on with these two sluggers. There it is, Chinese. There, these two are exchanging. Give no quarter, take no quarter, take no prisoners. Almost that little question mark kid. Back to that lead leg, Macias withdraws. Cuidado con el golpe bajo. Careful with that, the, the low shots. The re reaction from the Macias camp. Nice body kick from Macias while Edgar was going for a jab there. Stopped him dead in his tracks. A lot of movement from both of these fighters. These guys' footwork is, is they're fast, they're fast. They're out of there, they're in and out. Nice combo for Edgar Chaidez. He needs more of that. 
There's that whipping hair that I was saying. Don't you want to tie it back a little bit? Because that looked like that bothered him. Nice jab. Woo! These are really crossroad oh. fights for China. He's 23 years of age, but he has lived a couple lifetimes as a mixed martial artist. Nice. He doesn't even flinch. Ooh. A knee to the head for China. Nice deep kick up there for Macias. Back and forth, Chaidez. This is every blow counts here. We mentioned Chaidez. He was on a rocket ship as a mixed martial artist. Two losses in his last three against good opposition Albert Tru Trujillo. Axel Asuna sandwiched in between there. A victory over Alejandro Salazar. He has been fighting with Combate Americas all the way back since June of 2017. Take down, beautiful done by Macias. He almost had an Edgar back on his feet. Nicely done, hip to the game. He needs to turn in or else he's gonna be going for a ride here. This is a big spot here. Macias cannot yes. dislodge Chaidez. Now he crawls up the back, nice. looking for the RNC. Nice. Edgar turns in. Here comes a big near and elbow. He's trying to disengage out of here. Nope, goes for an underhook instead. Doesn't want to disengage. Wants to content to be in the clinch right now. Turns his opponent. Ooh, these guys are scrappy. Back to the center of the howl they go. Woo! Big nice knee. big knee. Macias making a major impression here. He wasn't supposed to close the night with a victory by an invader from Monterrey. Mexicali's had some good moments. We just saw the biggest of them with Rafa Garcia winning or defending his lightweight championship. It was a nice uppercut for Macias. Nice one and a leg kick. Chaidez has to get more active here. Chaidez he is doing what he can. Nice big left hook and a right hook, but the right hook just hits him in the arm. He needs to shorten that two up. Make it short. And now, at this point, it's, he's letting him steal the fight away. Macias is just throwing all sorts of unorthodox stuff, but it's working, and it's keeping Chaidez away. And it looks like he's got more in the gas tank than Chaidez. Nice uppercut. Ooh, you got it! Yes, with the short left! Yes! Chaidez punching up a Yo, that team, that team. We're naked it's done. pieces out. It's over, that's a wrap, folks. Oh my gosh, that's a wrap. Macias oh still God. fighting, still going. Dude. Chaidez has Dude. to dig deeper. Engage those hips, Chaidez. That's it. And, Come on, that's a wrap. Yes. Edgar Chaidez. It Woo. wasn't going his way, and one strike turned it all. All right, Chaidez now, mouthpiece out, shirt is on. Looking crisp and so fresh and so clean. That's right, boy. All right, official decision. Damas y caballeros, la esquina azul será por vencido, obligando al referí Raúl Porrata a parar la contienda con un tiempo oficial de 3 minutos 58 segundos del segundo capítulo. Ladies and gentlemen, the blue corner taps out, forcing referee Raúl Porrata to stop this contest with an official time of 3 minutes 58 seconds of round number 2. Your winner, by way of submission, el vencedor por sumisión. El Pitbull, Edgar Chaidez. Wow, what a way to start the night. We'll be right back. Stay connected to the fastest growing sport in the world. From the comfort of your own home, Combate Americas brings you the most exciting fights, the latest in MMA news, features, and mucha más acción. Follow Combate Americas on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to watch Combate Americas on Access TV, Univision, and 2DN. Combate Americas, mucha más acción.
for exclusive Combate Americas merchandise, just go to shop.combateamericas.com. of Combate Americas moves on. Time for Fight 2. Humberto Mandanay es un peleador muy bueno, siempre lo he dicho. O sea, le tengo respeto, pero miedo no hay, ¿me entiendes? Cuando, cuando se ha relajado la van a volar golpes y voy a ir a finalizarlo. No, no tengo ninguna presión de ser visitante. De hecho, también ya, ya he peleado acá en México. Y sé lo que es sentir la presión del público mexicano, lo respeto, pero yo estoy preparado para eso, ¿no? Como digo, un gallo de verdad pelea en cualquier corral. Me ganas es lo que tengo, ¿me entiendes? Tengo ganas. Entonces siento que, que todavía puedo hacer más, ¿me entiendes? Ya tengo un título aquí, me falta uno acá y me falta otro acá, ¿me entiendes? Me faltan más títulos todavía por conquistar. Ser campeón de la Copa Combate fue emocionante. Eh, de hecho, estábamos preparados para cualquier retador, ¿no? Eh, con mi equipo sabíamos que íbamos a ser los campeones, habíamos trabajado bien. Y así se dio, las cosas se dieron como nosotros lo habíamos planeado. Más porque es una pelea política, va a venir con todo, ¿me entiendes? Pero al igual que yo me estoy preparando, ¿me entiendes? Yo no, no nomás quiero llegar, quiero mantenerme aquí. No le va a ni una oportunidad a Humberto de, de, de hacer que mi título de asesino es mío y el mensaje va para todos los pesos ligeros. Si siento me yo estoy aquí en combate, se queda conmigo. En el careo le dije que iba a recoger la copa combate y pasaba por su cinturón. Y es así como lo estoy haciendo, ¿no? Ahora estamos en su casa y voy a quitarle el cinturón. Humberto Bandanay, este cinturón ya tiene dueños, el dueño es Rafa García y ya tiene casa y aquí se queda en Mexicali, puro Mexicali. Rafael García, disfruta tus últimos días con el cinturón que Perú ya llegó a la casa. Ante the reigning champion, Rafa García. <tose> That's that, Mex that Mexicali audience, guys, that I was talking about. Awesome. Ah, so cool. Fantastic. This, this is, is a amazing. first, right? This is it, man. Combate the, the music, this is how we do it, folks. Sit back and enjoy it. Fights, music, everything. Pacific to Mexicali. That is a lot of pressure, guys. <laughs> That's true. It matters. An, entrance, an entrance like that, you know. Hey. We heard about Rafa Garcia talking about his town, how big Mexicali is. Shoots out to Yuma, Arizona. It shares an identity with the other side of the border in so many places. He has put the pressure on him. He knows that he can absorb it. The lightweight champ, Rafa Garcia, the gifted. Very cool, everyone's singing along. Stay connected to the fastest growing sport in the world. From the comfort of your own home, Combate Americas brings you the most exciting fights, the latest in MMA news, features, and mucha más acción. Follow Combate Americas on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to watch Combate Americas on Access TV, Univision, and 2DN. Combate Americas, mucha más acción.
exclusive Combate Américas merchandise. Just go to shop.combateamericas.com. Damas y caballeros, este es el duelo estelar de esta noche. This is the main event. Tres vueltas por el Campeonato Mundial Peso Ligero de Combate Américas. Three rounds for the Combate Américas Lightweight World Championship. Los jueces son, the judges are, Chris Crail, Agustín Oropesa y Marco Antonio Soto Pérez. Mexicali llegó la hora. Veremos. ¿Quién es el más macho? Presentado en la esquina azul, el retador, vestido de color rojo, introducing the blue corner, the challenger, wearing the color red, his official weight, 154 and one half pounds, su peso oficial, 154 libras y media. Entra a la jaula por vigésima séptima vez a nivel profesional, con 18 victorias. Siete derrotas y un empate. He enters the jaula for the 27th time as a pro with 18 victories against seven losses and one bout even. El ganador del torneo más prestigioso en las artes marciales mixtas, Copa Combate de Lima, Perú, Humberto Bande. En la esquina roja, el campeón reinante en the red corner, the reigning world champion, vestido de color negro, he enters the jaula, wearing black trunks, his official weight, 155 pounds, su peso oficial, 155 libras, entra a la jaula, invicto a nivel profesional, con 11 victorias, he enters the jaula, undefeated as a pro, with 11 victories. Esta noche, frente a su gente de Mexicali, hace la primera defensa de su título peso ligero de Combate Américas. Puro Chicali, Baja California, México. García. El referí, Héctor Molina. Héctor Molina. Caballeros al centro. Al centro, al centro. Caballeros, repasé el reglamento con ustedes dos en los vestidores. Obedecen mis instrucciones en todo momento y se protegen en todo momento. Cuando digo stop, dejen de pelear, pero no dejen de protegerse hasta que yo los separe. Bien. Chonky en guantes, suelta los dos. Mexico versus Peru. It is here, the tale of the tape, both in the infancy of their careers. A good height advantage for Bandenay, as well as the reach, according to Nick Kalikas, Rafa Garcia, minus 200 favorite. So a good size favorite, certainly, for the betters out there. Rafa's Listo. pumped. Listo. Yeah. Rafa's Fight. looking very, very pumped. I've been looking forward to this fight all year since 2020. I'm very looking forward to who I will be facing next. But for now, let's worry about this. Rafa Garcia promised to defend his turf. Bandenay says, I want to make history in Mexicali. To finish the story about Rafa Garcia, first fight, Mexico City. He won it quickly. There was huge support for him. And then he met Cub Swanson, whose brother was fighting there. Cub Swanson, part of his training pedigree. Rafa Tech in the center cage, like he always does. <laughs> Here he comes. Uh, you know, Bandenay is very looking, very looking, very timid compared to. Uh, you know how he fought in the Copa. He's playing it very, very slow right now. Looks like he wants to possibly go and make it in that three-round fight or possibly try to take it second fight. Uh, he's, you can tell by the the way he's moving, the way he's, he's doing things. He's very, very patient, very, very patient. How do you see it, JP? Because I, I tend to agree with Ghost Pepper. Bandanai looking a little different, and now Rafa Garcia getting close quarters. Into the clinch, and he should have got on that front head draw there, but he let him right back up to his feet, and they take the center of the jaula. Lightweight championship on the line. Rafa Garcia's unbeaten record on the line. You know, watching this just brings my hands all clammy and sweaty. You I know. know. Aren't you guys your heart in your throat yet? Because it is for me. <laughs> but how about that entrance? It was unbelievable. Oh, so cool. It's you know, been they're, both, they're both very patient this first round. 
Uh, they're both, uh, they're getting a measure. They're throwing yeah. it out there, not necessarily trying to land these punches right now. They're just measuring out the distance. How far away are you? Let me see how much distance I got to cover to get inside. Lafa is going to have to be careful with that, with that left oh. kick. Tiempo. Bound a nice kick, catching Rafa Garcia. A little low blow. Low that blow. Happens, you know. That's why you wear a cup. That crowd is electric. Thank goodness for cups. <laughs> Rafa looks okay, but he can ha he can take his time here. How square was it? Replay. Wow. Oh, right on the nut. <laughs> I'll just refrain myself. <laughs> yep. It is what it is. Quick little breath take two for both of the fighters. You know? Last time we saw Rafa Garcia beating Eric Ghost Pepper Gonzalez, the man to our left here, unanimous decision in Mexicali last September. That was the first lightweight championship. This is the second. Van yeah. Denai, the much taller party here. Rafa Garcia is finding a way inside, though, with those big, long, looping punches. Rafa's just such a tank, man. You know, yeah. You can hit him and hit him and hit him, but. Ooh, big right know, hook wrapped around. Take a pit punch with that big head of his. <laughs> <laughs> he is a, a fighting machine. And it, lightweight, he's going to give the height advantage most of the time. Five foot seven, a very small lightweight, but he is the best in the business in Combate Americas and one of the best in the world. Nice inside leg kick for Bandanai. And a punch to a clinch, but denied by Bandanai. Good takedown defense. We saw that against Hugo Pepper in oh. the Copa. Yeah, he's uh, having that that that, uh, that height helps a lot too when you're trying to when you're stuffing takedowns sometimes, you know, because it's harder to reach your feet. You got to reach out a little bit longer from the, from, the, from the opposing corner of the attacker trying to do the take down. Double it up, Rafa Garcia. Looking to close Shorten the gap. Shorten that two, and then on the second two, land it. He can see that two coming, so you got to shorten that two up. Yeah, he's doing a lot of one and one two combinations with uh, the, some pretty the, wide hooks. The first two doesn't have to land. That second two will be the land because he's going to shell up once he sees you throwing that two. Yeah, absolutely. Nice overhand by Rafa. There it is. Throw short and then throw it for real. He's got the center of the Haula and he's not going anywhere. Bandenai, lateral movement. Bandenai also this in the southpaw stance, which can be a challenge if you haven't fought a lot of southpaws. You know, you always want to be circling to the not their power side. So Rafa Garcia is doing a good job of that, doing a good job of staying outside that lead foot of his. Very there it nice. is. Crashes the party with that too. High low there. 35 seconds to go in the first Juno. round. Rafa's doing a very good job with these feints. You know, he's going in, he's going out. He's not he's not attacking a lot. Uh, you know, he's he's very unpredicted, unpredicted punches. Uh, although they're a little, although you can see them coming for the, for the most part, well, I would be able to. Uh, he's doing a very good job of feinting and, and getting him started. Bandanay is turning it up at the end yep. of this first Here's round. Here's the now. offense now from Bandanay. Looks like now he wants to turn it up a little bit. But, uh, you know, I, I think I have Rafa for this first round as far as activity-wise. He's doing a lot more to punch. Here the kicks, just though. started turning it up. Nice leg kicks and another stuffed. But Garcia doesn't let him out. Nice body shot with the knee. Going Pink in for a single leg. There it is. There it is. Right before right the bell. Up, right, he's right back up, though. Just non-stop activity. Foot stamps. More activity. He just will not rest. Ooh, trying to kick that leg out. Ten seconds to go here in the Ooh. opening round. Rafa Look, Garcia. Soccer kicks to Very the inside of the that, right? calf. He's using Get like ball. the inside of his wow. foot to kick that to the shin. You don't see that very often. Exclusive Combate Americas merchandise. Just go to shop.combateamericas.
Stay connected to the fastest growing sport in the world. From the comfort of your own home, Combate Americas brings you the most exciting fights, the latest in MMA news, features, and mucha más acción. Follow Combate Americas on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to watch Combate Americas on Access TV, Univision, and 2DN. Combate Americas, mucha más acción. Like I said, I had Rafa going into the second round. So we'll see what happens right now. That was uh, prediction. But Bandone is, is actually pacing himself. He's looking for a three-round fight, is my opinion. Juliana, also giving you her prediction. Go get your popcorn and enjoy the fight. Lightweight championship, folks, here. Combate Americas Live, Friday Night Access TV. What? We're here all year long. What a shame. It's a title fight. So much on the line. It's only a three-round fight. That does not give these gentlemen a lot of time to dink around. It's yeah. do or die time in there. I completely agree with that. Uh, I, I do wish that uh, these these title fights were five minutes but or five rounds, but you know it is where it is. Uh, so that maybe it'll make them work even harder. Right. I know someone's ear we can whisper into about that. We shall <laughs> see as round two, Rafa Garcia, impressive opening round. Do we see Bandanai let those hands go? Did see some good kicks from him at the end of round one. In this type of situation as well, you know, you want to be the champ, you got to beat the champ, which means you got to take the champ out. And uh, if you want to do that, you got to get to work. Um, uh, Bandanae seems content to be the, the counter striker. There's a good one. Solid left hand. That, that caught Garcia's super attention. Super solid. Yeah, it looks like he's reserving those left hands. Uh, he's timing them. That was again. a good time. Second, again, second one in there. Rafa needs to be careful with those feints now because he's timing him very well. Looks like he's figuring him out. His tempo a little bit. A change in the fight here with the, just those two left hands. You can see it's keeping Garcia honest now. And Garcia, you can tell he's wanting to close the distance and get into the clinch. Nice. He wants to get that takedown. Left hook by Rafa on the exit. Don't let him out, Rafa. Like I said, Bandene. Nice right hand from Rafa. Absolutely. Bandene, uh, you got to keep pushing it back, and that's what Rafa's doing. You can't fight oh, off the back. Flying nice me. body. I saw that in the beginning. I wasn't sure if he was going to do it, but it looks like he's trying to set up that flying knee. You know, with the type of style that Rafa is, you could set up a flying knee, but, you know, uh, Rafa's as tough as it comes. Yeah, and JP, he just goes forward. Rafa's always going forward, always looking for that soft spot, and he usually finds it. That's why he's the lightweight champion. That's why he's unbeaten. Rafa like, Garcia like is patrolling the jaula, stealing the center of every exchange, always trying to pick his opponent out from the outside. Heck, he's cutting off the angles, uh, keep, like you said, keeping the center of the cage, doing a really, really good job of it. Uh, you know, keeping Bandanay backtracking, backtracking. But he's also got to be careful because now that he has Bandanay backtracking, he's shooting that that left straight punch and nice. did some damage uh -oh. first, too. Nice uh oh, he's hurt him. It was a flying knee by Bandanay. He hurt him there for sure. Bandanay steps back. Rafa Garcia smelling blood. Bandanay's looking for that one hit finish, it looks like. That left hand, the flying knee. And he's working it with that inside leg kick. Rafa just needs to keep doing what he's doing, keep moving forward, keeping him backed up. Always quick little steps forward, making it close, making that howla even smaller. He's got to suffocate him, get in his face. That's all you got to keep doing. Rafa's doing a good job. Little over 90 seconds left to go in the second round. And Rafa Garcia stalking, patrolling Banda Nai and, and looking to get that big, huge shot that's going to put him out. Abandonai at this point is just a counter puncher. He, he is, is waiting. And Rafa Garcia resets himself. He's like, all right, I'm going to reset, yeah. steal the center of the jaula, and then reset and start again because it's not working. He's got to find a different approach. You know, I think Rafa's realizing that he wants him to back up, and he's setting him up for a big hit. So that's why he's telling him, you know what, get in the center of the cage, get over here, come and fight me, stop running away. Yeah. That's the message that I got from Rafa right there. That's the message that I would have sent to anybody if you were not trying to fight me. Come on, man, let's go to the center of the cage, let's settle this. Those little steps by Garcia, inching closer. Bandenai has been retreat this second round. And Rafa Garcia just not showing his cards either. Oh, there, a good combo for Garcia, the right hand connected. Nice two to a jab. There you go, pump that fake. There it is. Mm -hmm. Faint, 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 go. 2019. You know, Bandy's gonna have to do a lot more than just, just keep cutting back, because, uh, you know, the judges, uh, you know how the judges are yeah. with any any fight. So, we, you uh, showed you the rules. Take it. Yeah, the, go there and take it. The, uh, the activity, the... Uh, Everything is in Rafa's court right now. Yeah, you know, I learned the hard way, so you got to go in there and literally kill the dude and take his belt and take it home. 
2019, a huge year for Rafa Garcia. He won the title. He, he became a dad. And now 2020, he wants that to keep on going. Fighting in his hometown. It was in Lima, Peru for the Copa. Bandanai was the home team there, but he's on the road now. Diez segundos. Oh, the combo oh. from Bandanai. Followed nice up with the kick. Too. Nice. Ducks, takedown. Oh, Beautiful oh, takedown. Nice takedown. That, is that enough? The second round, it was all rough apart, but Bandanai in a few seconds at least gives you some something to think about. Yeah, you know, now he's gonna have to, Rafa's gonna have to be careful with that left hand. You hit him and daze him, and, uh, uh, you know, he hit him twice earlier in that round, and uh, it hurt him, you know? Uh, so, and I, I know Rafa's hurt base, you know, I've been, I've been in front of him, and uh, he's definitely hurt a little bit, but he's so tough, man. He's gonna go in there and just probably end up bulldozing him to the ground, to the third round. All right, now this is it. You have to think, Bandenai, Juliana has some work to do. He has been patient. He has made it to the third round, but if he wants to walk away and take this title back to Peru that he said he was gonna do, he has to really ramp it up in round three. This is not a time to rest on your laurels. This is the time to freaking go get in that guy's face and let him know what's up. And he hasn't been able to do that, in my opinion, for the first two rounds. So Bandanai needs to step on the gas here, quit being the counter fighter, quit being on the timing of Rafa, quit letting him stalk him, and, and get some punches off, get something off. You just took him down with ease. I mean, you might have accidentally been caught in a head and arm guillotine, but still, you took him down. You were able to duck underneath those big looping shots, and you were able to get the takedown. So, please, some offense. That's what I would ask from, from his corner what? if I was him. Can I see some offense, please? An embrace between these two a champions. Respect, a lot of respect yeah. between these guys. I love it. That's why I love MMA. No hate, all love, even though we beat the crap out of each other. Yeah, you, you can turn the switch, but you turn it off after the fight. Five minutes now, oh. and Bandanai already showing a little more aggression. It has to be. May leave himself open, but you got to go for it. That's like I said, man. Uh, Bandanai was reserving his tank for the third round. He wasn't trying to go out there and completely waste all his gas tank. He's, you know, he's playing a smart fight. Um, although, I, like, like JP said, we have Rafa. I have Rafa for the first two rounds right now, but who knows? Who knows? I, I would just say, Bandanai, for the first time, moving forward at least a little bit with his steps, his footwork now, instead of going back all the time, finding himself in the middle Ooh. of the cage. Like I said, man, Bandanay's left kick and left hand. Called it before this fight. Be careful with those man can hit hard. Oh, nice. Got the back, looking for the suplex. Bandanay. He needs to kick the leg out, maybe kick the leg out, and fall, make him fall. There you go. Let's drag him forward. Take him forward, take him backwards. Batter and bruise the legs of Bandanai. No, no, you Underhook. let him sweaty and... and Bandanai's, Bandanai is strong. He's good in that clench game. So, you know, wasting your time and trying to do some stuff, small stuff to get them taken, you just got to go for it. Don't hold back. A reminder, we have the co-main event coming up after this. Edgar Chaidez and David Macias. An incredible run of fights leading to this main event for the lightweight title. Nice outside nice. single leg, and he gets it. Beautiful. Very That's a nice. wrap, folks. Do not let this guy up. Oh, if you let this guy up, it's over. That's a wrap. Heavy hips, nice shoulder pressure. Keep your underhook. Do not let this guy up. Whatever you do, at any and all costs. That's a wrap. The fight's over. Do not let him up, Rafa. Well, Rafa gets there up. There you go. He's raining. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay on top of him. Let him Stay up. Stay on top. Juliana Peña letting it know. Does, is there life in Bandanai, who once again I'm showcase very surprised out left hand. Him up. Very surprised yeah, did you, did it, was not in a comfortable position. He wants to finish this Ooh, fight. Maybe this nice is Nice right hand by Rafa. Stunned him a little bit. He threw a knee at the same time. Oh. Nice spinning back fist. They both do it at the same time. <laughs> Do you get the feeling, uh, Juliana, that he wants to put on a show? He doesn't want to win with the grappling. He wants to win stand-up. He wants to have that moment as he's had so many times in the past fighting at home. Listen, don't get it twisted. A win's a win. He'll take it however way he can get it. There's Cub Swanson in the corner of Rafa Garcia. Two minutes to you go. You know, I think Rafa's knowing that he's winning this fight, so he's just playing it safe right now, doing what he has to do. But he's doing it. Very damn good job of just staying in front of him. He's not. There's no retreat, Rafa. And I love that. Rafa now back in the center of the hollow. The chance of Rafa. The crowd chant, vibing him up, you know? Yeah. That makes a big difference. The hometown advantage right there. He feeds on the, the momentum. Oh! 
Le Le straight left. left. This is a beautiful strike by Vandenai, but he needs to get Double on it, step on down. the gas. There it is. Oh, buena noche! See ya. Buena noche! See ya. Buena noche! Do not let him up, Rafa. There it is, finish him. Ooh, nicely yeah, done by Vandenai. Ooh. Nice. What a fight. Crowd loves it. What look look how fight. much you took him down with ease. Do it again. He's got way more energy than he thinks. Definitely does. Mind over matter at this point. Absolutely, absolutely. Rafa has more in him. Bandane is, is, is trying to hunt him down, knowing that he has a minute and a half left. This is very, this is it, guys. This is it. The last minute, this is what all the marbles comes down. Will Rafa keep his title? Almost very high. nice left knee. That flying, flying knee, knee is flying amazing knee. by Bandane. Rafa started being more defensive. He was walking away, but then he couldn't resist. Had to get back into the frying pan. Whenever Bandanai decides to pull the trigger, he is precise and he lands and it's it's pure precision every time. He's just not ever pulling the trigger. I would like to see him more be a, be in a piston, uh, getting I, those shots off. Keep going. Keep one right after the other. I, I don't think he has the casting for that. Uh, yeah, JP, I, I really, I think that he has all the abilities, but he just maybe doesn't have the gas tank, and that's why he's not doing it to reserve himself. I think he's just being a little too conservative, but that flying left knee has been landing and finding a home. It hasn't ever hit flush, but it's right in the chest, right in the solar plexus, and it definitely slows Rafa down. Rafa leaving exposed there. 19 seconds, who wants it? Rafa Garcia has taken it again. Moments away from moving to 12 and 0. And at the end of the day, what do you have to lose if opa. you're banned tonight? Opa, opa, nice takedown. That's the exclamation point, ladies and gentlemen. Rafa Garcia with the foot on the pedal, and he has his moment in Mexicali. We will be back with mucha más acción after this timeout. Stay connected to the fastest growing sport in the world. From the comfort of your own home, Combate Americas brings you the most exciting fights, the latest in MMA news, features, and mucha más acción. Follow Combate Americas on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to watch Combate Americas on Access TV, Univision, and 2DN. Combate Americas, mucha más acción. Exclusive Combate Americas merchandise. Just go to shop.combateamericas.com. It's gonna be interesting right here. I do have Rafa, but that's just You me. think it might be a little closer? It's gonna be a close fight though. I absolutely, I, I completely think that it'll be a very close fight. And uh, who knows, Campbell, what's up with Bandelay, man? He likes to be active. Get me in there with him next. You know, I'm looking for any of these one. Ghost uh, Pepper calling them all get out. in here, man, 2020. It's a new year, new decade. <laughs> it's, new, it, it's a new, oh my God, I feel old. Two new decades <laughs> rolling in. <laughs> Humberto Bandenay clutching the Peruvian awesome flag. Fight. Rafa Garcia clutching the Mexican. El Tri, Los Colores. Rafa was, uh, you know, he's, he's gotten better with his hands right there, man. He's uh, very engageful. He was making it more interesting than normally does. So I, I respect that a lot. It seems like a guy who's finding new ways to beat you. He, he has said it himself. He is a perfectionist. He, he feels there's a, a lot of room for improvement in his fighting game. He's never satisfied. I'm pretty critical, he said, of himself. And then he also finished, I want more titles. Where does he go if his arm is raised here tonight?
This place is buzzing. The incredible intro from Garcia, who can jump up on the side of the Haula uh, with such nimble prowess. Yeah, I think uh, I think Rafa knows he has us in the bag. He did, I think he did enough. Finished off with a nice take down at the end. And as you said, Juliana, to beat the man, you got to beat the man. You got to beat him here in Mexicali, but you got to yeah. go for the win. And maybe Bandanai left it out there a little too long. I mean, and at the end of the day, he knows that Rafa Garcia is the poster boy at 155 and that that's his division. So you didn't win the belt. You came into enemy territory and you went the distance. You didn't get finished and you still have the 100 grand and you're still the winner of Copa Combate. So at the end of the day, it's kind of a win-win situation if you're Bandanai. Yeah, yeah. I think Bandone He can still a, hold his head high. There ain't no shame yeah. in losing to a guy like Rafa Garcia. There's no shame in losing any fight. That's right. We're in there with beating crap out of each other. Exactly. We work our butts off. You're right. No Damas one should ever put their head down. Right. We are warriors. That's right. All right. Official. Los jueces entregan tarjetas identicas. And here we go. De 29 a 28. Ladies and gentlemen, after going all three rounds, the judges turn in identical scorecards of 29 to 28. In favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. A favor del ganador por decisión unánime. Y aún campeón peso ligero de combate América. Bolo Chicali. Rafa. Gifted. García. Thanks for watching the best of Combate America.